This is your Vancouver real estate market update for February, 2022. And we're getting into it right after this. Hey everyone, I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty, your local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. In today's video, I'm gonna cover what's happened in the Vancouver real estate market through the month of January and what's coming that could affect that market. I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to live, love, and own here in Vancouver. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell as well so you can be notified the moment I have a new video out. I really want you to be able to stay up to date on all the latest tips and insights into the Vancouver real estate market so you can become an expert too. So let's jump into it. Metro Vancouver home sales reached an all-time high in 2021 and housing needs remained a top priority for residents through the second year of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver reported that residential home sales in the region totaled 43,999 in 2021, a 42.2% increase from the homes sold in 2020, and a 73.6% increase from those sales recorded in 2019, and a 4% increase over the all-time sales record recorded in 2015. Last year's sales total was 33.4% above the 10-year average, and last year's list total was 11% above the 10-year average. Despite this, home listing activity did not keep pace with the record demand that we saw throughout 2021. This imbalance caused residential home prices to rise over the past 12 months. The MLS HPI composite benchmark price for both detached home and townhome prices increased 22% through the region last year, while apartments increased 12.8%. We began 2022 with just over 5,000 homes for sale across the region. This is the lowest level that we've seen in 30 years. With demand at record levels, residents should not expect home price growth to relent until there is a more adequate supply of housing available to purchase. To give you an idea of how we started off the first month of 2022, the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver reports that residential home sales in the region saw a 4.4% decrease from the sales recorded in January of 2021, and a 15% decrease from the homes sold in December. December of 2021. Last month's sales were 25.3% above the 10-year January sales average. The first month of 2022 saw home sales come down from last year's record-setting pace, while low supply continued to cause home prices to edge upward throughout Metro Vancouver. Our listing inventory on MLS is less than half of what would be optimal to begin the year. As a result, Hopeful home buyers have limited choice in the market today. This trend is causing fierce competition for the scarce number of homes for sale, which in turn increases prices. To give you an idea of how fierce the market is, I had clients competing in a multiple offer situation on a two bedroom home in Lynn Valley. This home had six offers, sold for $77,000 over its asking price and $87,000 above an identical unit on a higher floor that sold just one month earlier. So if you're a buyer that's been looking for a home over the last few months, it would be wise to find a home sooner rather than later because prices will only continue to increase in the near future. If you want to stay on top of the market, whether you're buying or selling a home, knowledge is key. And the SnapStats market reports are a fantastic way to arm yourself with tons of knowledge knowledge about your market area. To download those full reports, simply click on the images below to download either the Metro Vancouver, Greater Vancouver, or Fraser Valley reports. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, down in the description below is a link to a sample report. Please go ahead and review that. And if you think that it's something of value, and trust me, you are going to love these reports, then simply fill out your name and email address to start receiving those reports immediately. In November's market update video, which you can watch here, I talked about the BC government plans to introduce a cooling off period for resale properties. There is already a seven day right of rescission period for pre-sale homes. If introduced, this could have numerous unintended consequences in our real estate market. The BC government also plans to eliminate the so-called blind bidding in multiple offer situations, which will definitely have an impact in our real estate market. In the conversations that I've had with home buyers and sellers regarding this, they are torn. Many buyers do not want anyone else knowing what they are offering on a property. 
while most of them also would like to know what other people are bidding. Unfortunately, you can't have it both ways, buyers. Most sellers, however, do not want this implemented as they feel it would negatively impact the sale price of their home. The reality is most people will be both buyer and seller at some point, and these proposed changes will impact a lot of people. We are several months away from any of this taking effect, so we will have to wait and see what the government does and what effect it will have on our real estate market. As we approach spring, we'll also keep a close eye on the impact of rising interest rates on buyers' willingness to buy and on whether more homeowners will opt to become sellers in what's traditionally the busiest season of the year. With home prices reaching new highs in recent months, the need has never been greater for government to collaborate with the building industry to expedite the creation of new housing supply and offer more choice for those struggling to buy a home today. Hey, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed that video and you want to learn more about Vancouver neighborhoods, I have filmed over 45 different neighborhoods around Metro Vancouver, and you can check them out on this playlist right here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button here because on this channel, you're going to find everything you need to live, love, and own here in Vancouver. So don't forget to subscribe.